Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us via this web today. I'm very excited to share our latest and greatest ROG products with all of you. Because of the impact of COVID-19, people are spending much more time at home, working, learning, and playing. In this case, I do believe all of you have seen that a lot of gamers aspire to level up by adding more peripherals or upgrading their PC components. For those looking to gain an advantage in gaming, stay tuned. ROG is here to upgrade your gaming experiences with Meta Buffs. Thank you. Welcome. Last year, around this time, we shared how we were intelligently expanding our ROG ecosystem. And we're not done expanding, we're still doing that, but this year, we have a very different theme, Meta Buffs. What Meta means to us is the default gaming experience made possible by ROG hardware. Our current Meta revolves around pushing ultra high-end 4K builds and then trickling those features down to other products over years. To be honest, we feel that there's not been enough love recently coming to our more mainstream gaming experiences. To address this, we are buffing up mainstream products across all of our ROG categories. Our goal is to offer more ROG build diversity than ever before. Some products have received huge upgrades. Others have had more subtle tweaks. Some of it's better performance, some have less noise. We have more lightweight design in some products, and we're offering new features to many of our categories. We have so much in store to show you here today, and we're very excited. First, let's take a look at some major changes coming to our renowned ROG Strix graphics cards. Hello, everyone. My name is Romeo, and I'm a product manager for ASUS. Today, I'm here to bring you all some very exciting news, the one that we've all been waiting for, at least I have, the brand new Ampere architecture GPU from NVIDIA is finally here, promising far more performance than the previous generation. These new GPUs operate within completely new thermal and power envelopes. So we've redesigned our ROG Strix cards from the ground up to unleash their full potential. The changes starts with the aesthetics. Well, the new Strix is a 2.9 slot card. We've implemented an ID that looks sleeker than the 2.7 slot last generation Strix, and incorporate the same design language as our latest ROG Strix motherboard. The metal accents give the car a premium look and feel, and embedded addressable RGB lightings can be controlled via Aura software to add a dash of color to your build. In a future software update, the addressable strip will also be able to display GPU temperature as color, of course, you can also switch all the lightings off if you prefer a stealthier rig. Underneath, the thermal solution has been redesigned to deal with the thermal footprint of NVIDIA's new GPUs. First, let's take a look at the heatsink. Most of the card's 2.9 slot footprint is accounted for by a larger heatsink that provides 31% more surface area than the last generation design. All of the fins connected via heat pipes to a max contact heat spreader. The Max Contact Heat Spreader is machined to be flat and polished so it's smoother at the microscopic level, ensuring flusher contact with the die. And because surface flatness varies from die to die, we've also utilized a custom mounting bracket to ensure good heat spreader to die contact on every card. With more fins and surface area to deal with, we also had to optimize fan performance. Uh, similar to the last generation, there are three actual tech fans which utilize a barrier ring to increase static pressure. But for this bigger heatsink, we've made some subtle changes to optimize airflow and dispersion. The two fans on the flanks now features a narrower barrier ring. In contrast, the central fan now has a wider barrier ring and 13 blades. This allows the side fans to intake more air laterally without disturbing the airflow of the central fan which needs to maintain at higher static pressure because it resides directly on top of heat spreader and the GPU. These subtle changes allowed the latest actual tech fans to deliver more airflow while producing lower noise level than the previous generation. 
The one last component of the thermal solution is the backplate. As you know, circulating coolers require fresh airflow to deliver optimal performance. So we intentionally shortened our PCB to create a vent hole for hot air to travel through the backplate and toward chassis exhaust fans, so this can prevent hot air being recycled by the GPU. As a result of increased power demands, users may need to reevaluate the power rating of their PSUs. And even if they have high power PSU, if it has been run hard for a number of years, its voltage regulation may no longer be adequate to cope with the fast load changes. In such instances, the systems may crash when under load, leaving users puzzled. And in order to aid troubleshooting, we've developed an onboard circuit that monitors the PSU rail voltage, and it's fast enough to catch any transient that results in the rail voltage dropping too low. If that happens, LEDs will light up, so you're well aware that your PSU wasn't able to keep up with the current demands of the GPU. Hey, it's a simple feature, but one that will prevent a lot of head scratching if random crashes are experienced. Hardware is important, but the package is not completed without the software. So here's is Steven to share some updates coming to our GPU tweak software. Thanks, Romeo. I hope I can get my hands on one of those cards soon. On top of the hardware upgrades, we've also been planning an overhaul of our GPU tweak software. GPU Tweak allows customers to customize and monitor GPU performance, fan speeds, and much, much more to suit their specific gaming needs. To improve it, we actually reached out to the community and to media, collected a bunch of feedback, and the result is an entirely new version of GPU Tweak. We have better standard functionality, tons of brand new features, and a complete UI redesign all based on what gamers and tweakers want. We're currently planning to launch an open beta for GPU Tweak 3 in September. We're really excited about it, and we hope you'll check it out. For more, stay tuned to our ROG forums. When customers spend big on high-end GPUs and CPU coolers, they're often paying for a quiet system, not just raw performance. You heard how we're reducing noise with our new GPU design, but we're actually doing this across our entire ecosystem. Our new 120 millimeter ROG Strix chassis fan is a great example of this. It's been built from the ground up to deliver high performance without a lot of noise. We leveraged our years of experience in thermal design, and it's resulted in a balanced fan that outperforms many market incumbents. Let's take a quick look now. The design process for this fan started with the material for the frame and the fan blades. Plastic has a tendency to bend and warp during operation, so we added fiberglass to create a more rigid composite that improves performance. Then, we shaped the angle and the curvature of the frame struts to minimize turbulence and maximize airflow. We also added anti-vibration mounts to prevent rattling in the chassis. For the fan blades, we added grooves and rounded edges that increase airflow and produce better sound quality. Then, we selected a low RPM range of 250 to 1800 RPM. Now, this is lower than some competing models, and the reason we did that is because high-performance builds need a balance between airflow and acoustics. The lower range gives us more flexibility to create quiet fan curves. And by the way, the fan can also turn off completely, which is a great feature for builds with super efficient cooling. We also used a magnetic bearing, which creates less friction. This gives the fan a longer lifespan, but also produces more stable noise frequencies, and it keeps its quiet acoustic profile throughout its life. We also eliminated vibration that can be caused by having an unbalanced rotor. We actually manually test and balance each rotor. This keeps performance to spec, and it also prevents that unwanted noise from extra vibration. As a result of all of these efforts, we have phenomenal performance 
and very low noise, as you can see from our specs. One thing you won't see in the spec, however, is the quality of this fan's sound. So we ran a comparison between the ROG Strix fan and another very popular fan in the market. Our efforts resulted in a more pleasing acoustic sound profile overall, which means our original design goal was a huge success. These fans will be integrated seamlessly into our ecosystem. First, we're planning to improve the duty cycle settings on future motherboards to take full advantage of the ROG Strix fans capabilities. And we'll also be bundling these fans with our future high-end ROG chassis. And of course, they'll also be sold separately. Next up are our new displays. We've already got a stack of 4K monitor options, which are perfect for immersive gameplay experiences. So today we're going to buff up our full HD options for competitive gaming. And we're going to introduce new technology with a fresh and surprisingly balanced 2K display. First, let's see what we're bringing to the table for competitive gamers. The PG259QN is an obvious choice for competitive gamers. With its one millisecond gray to gray response time and a screamingly fast 360 hertz refresh rate, that's enough on its own to sell this monitor. But it also has beautiful IPS color, meets HDR10 criteria, and has an NVIDIA G-Sync processor built in for smooth gameplay. It's amazing we've reached this point where it's no longer necessary to use a TN panel to achieve professional grade competitive performance. Of course, it's not easy to show you 360 Hertz on stream. So we put together some images from our pursuit camera to help illustrate the difference between lower refresh rates and 360 Hertz. As you can see, there's a huge perceptible difference between even 240 Hertz and the 360 Hertz that is now achievable. We fully expect it's just a simple matter of time before this higher refresh rate is accepted as an eSports standard. The benefit for eSports players is it's easier for them to track moving objects across the screen, and that's something they can't do without. Now, we know that the QN is going to be very popular, so we're also coming to market with another model, the QNR. It has almost the exact same specs. The key differences are two exciting extra features that we're bringing to the market. The first is a new technology that allows users to track input lag metrics in real time. To use this feature, you'll need graphics cards from NVIDIA, as well as a certified mouse. With both plugged into the display, you'll be able to open up the OSD and monitor end-to-end -end latency. You'll be able to see results for peripheral, CPU, GPU, and display. This is great for quickly identifying any issues with hardware setups and for comparing future peripherals. Especially for competitive gamers, this might give a really good indicator of what your next upgrade should be. The other feature you'll get with the QNR model is the ROG Desk Mount Kit. This is something gamers have been asking us for for quite a while. Now, we love the design of our current stands, but we heard from our competitive community that more space is needed for keyboard, mouse, and mouse pad, especially when gamers are sitting very close for a competitive setup. So let's take a look at how these desk mounts work. First, we'll attach the C-clamp to the desk. 
Then we'll unplug the monitor stand and attach the converter. Finally, we'll attach the monitor to the kit like this. The ROG mount kit is compatible with other select ROG monitors and will be sold separately. Some of our customers don't wholly fit into the gamer box. Sure, they play games, but they also need to use their display for productivity, content creation, and media consumption. And this is even more true in recent times as many of us are suddenly working and gaming at home. For those customers, we're launching the ROG Swift PG329Q, an exciting 32-inch 1440p option. It has a fast IPS panel with quantum dot technology that covers 98% of the DCI P3 color space and 160% of sRGB, making it a very reasonable workhorse for designers. But on the other hand, it also packs a one millisecond grade to grade response time, ELMB sync, and it's even G sync compatible. And these are gaming specs. So, what is this monitor really? Actually, it's a perfect combination for those who need to work and to play. Last year, we created ELMB sync to eliminate motion blur without sacrificing variable refresh rates. Well, in the PG329Q, we're doing something similar with a technology called variable overdrive. First of all, for those who may not know, overdrive is a feature that reduces ghosting by improving pixel response times. It basically works by increasing the voltage to make the pixels change more quickly. Overdrive was originally designed to work with consistent frame times when most monitors were running at static refresh rates. You simply select the overdrive setting that performed best for your display and you were done. However, with variable refresh rates becoming more common, especially on mainstream displays, it's time for us to buff up overdrive. That's where variable overdrive comes in. It adjusts the voltage as the refresh rate of the display changes. So you get reduced ghosting and you can keep variable refresh rate at the same time. You can still customize your overdrive levels, but you're no longer locked into a static refresh rate. It's very refreshing not to have to choose between overdrive or a variable refresh rate. This is just another case where we are providing more options for gamers to fine tune their hardware to match their preferred gaming experience. Look forward to this feature coming to other ROG models in the near future. And now I'm going to hand it over to Chris to show off some of our new gaming peripherals. Hi gamers, I'm Chris. How are you doing today? And since our first ROG gaming keyboard, we've continuously delivered new innovations and products that elevate the gaming experience. And we work closely with you guys, combining your feedback and our R&D to refine and elevate our products to take gaming even further. And today, we are proud to introduce to you the all new ROG RX Red optical mechanical switches. Traditional mechanical switches are good nowadays, but they can be better. And leveraging our expertise and engineers, we looked into redesigning and developing each switch component, from its external housing, stabilizer mechanism, all the way to the actuation point and force attribute. ROG RX Red delivers a smooth, linear feel to give you near instantaneous response when you strike the key. The actuation point is set at 1.5 millimeters, so ROG RX Red triggers faster than common red mechanical switches so you get the upper hand in competitive play. We've optimized the initial force curve at 40 grand to eliminate misclicking and couple it with an end force of 55 grand to give gamers that familiar rebound feel during rapid triggers. Unlike traditional mechanical switches, ROG RX Red uses light as a trigger rather than a physical contact point. And this allows for near zero debounce delay for fast actuation and a lifespan of up to 100 million key presses. 
And one of the problems often encountered with traditional mechanical switches is the keystroke wobble and the force inconsistency when keys are pressed off-center. The unique hollow square stem of our GRX Red eliminates key wobble. The switches also have flashes on the four corners to secure and stabilize the keycap. The X stabilizer further reduces key wobble and ensures a consistent keystroke feel. Under lab conditions, RGRX Red shows little to no force curve deviance when keys are pressed on different areas of the keycap. And the hollow square stem design and its embedded LED result in a balanced all-round lighting effect, enabling it to shine brighter than any other switches currently available. Now it's time to take a look at the first RG gaming keyboard to feature the new RGRX Red switches, RG Strix Scope RX. ROG Strixscope RX packs all the game-changing features found in the previous Strixscope keyboards, including the extended control key, the stealth key for instant privacy, and the quick toggle function keys so you can jump between work and play modes. Industry-leading IP56 dust and water resistance ensures ROG Strixscope RX is well protected from spills and dust. The durable aluminum alloy top plates provide structural rigidity for long-lasting durability. There's even USB 2.0 path-through, so you can plug in your mouse or flash drive, and you can even charge your mobile devices. To sum it up, ROG Strixscope RX is the first mechanical RGB gaming keyboard to feature exclusive ROG RX red optical mechanical switches. It's bristling with features, including a wider control key, a stealth key, and a USB 2.0 path-through. It's durable, too with IP56 water and dust resistance and an alloy top plate. And recently, we delivered several ultimate gaming mice, and each with tons of features, like Chakram and Pujo 2, and which brought very positive feedbacks. But still, some FPS gamers prefer the lightweight mice, and since they play games several hours a day. So, I know you guys are asking for it badly, but instead of copying competitors' design, we prefer to do it in a way that does not come at the expense of structural integrity. The circuitry protected against sweat and offers ideal ergonomics, since plenty of ambidextrous design are already available. RG carries wireless is our answer. It's a 79 gram mouse that is far more comfortable for right-handers compared to ambidextrous mice, and a solid top cover to keep out dust, sweat, and spills. And we even managed to make it a tri-mode wireless mouse. We worked closely with the pro esports team in order to create the ultimate gaming mouse for pro gamers. It took six months and numerous prototypes to craft the perfect mouse shape. We adopted a honeycomb internal structure to lower its weight down to just 79 grams without compromising its external aesthetics. Our design retains structural integrity better than hollow honeycomb, as well as dust and liquid protection. From our perspective, this also looks better. You can use RG Carries Wireless via triple mode, ultra-fast 2.4G, energy-efficient Bluetooth LE, or wired USB. And you can also easily switch between these modes to maximize the battery life or minimize the mouse latency. RG Carries Wireless has a 16,000 DPI, 400 IPS optical sensor that's been specially tuned by ROG and is capable of handling 40G of acceleration. ROG Carries Wireless also features the new ROG Microswitch and featuring 70 million click durability and a gold-plated electro junction for longevity. Our strict manufacturing standards ensure each mouse switch are well-matched. And while the industry standard for deviation is plus or minus 15 gram force, and we made it our mission to never exceed 10 gram force. The exclusive push fit socket allows you to easily drop switches in so you can experience different levels of operating force and feedbacks, and to suit your preference or replace worn or broken switches to extend the lifespan of ROG carries wireless. The left and right buttons are made by PBT plastic material, as opposed to ABS or PC plastic, and coated with a non-slip surface that is wear and shine resistant. Carries Wireless is built to last. 
And if you are a keyboard guy, you must know already the benefit PBT brings, since it's widely used in premium keycaps. The swappable side buttons come in different colors and giving you more options for customization. The mouse width design is also very important. And through our lab tests, we have found that the shape and orientation of the feet matter when it comes to smoother glides. The round edge 100% Teflon mouse feet using our Gcaris wireless give you a smoother glide across any surface. But make sure you sit on mouse pad. We worked with pro gamers to make RG Carries Wireless Gaming Mouse the premier choice for pro gamers. Tri mode connectivity, lightweight design, integrated aura lighting, and ergonomic aesthetic make it the perfect sidearm when you go into battle. The new RG Scabbard 2 Gaming Mousepad is the perfect foil for RG Carries Wireless. It features a military grade nano coat that's water oil, and dust repellent to keep your gaming area neat and tidy. The protective coat is 1.5 times smoother than standard fabrics and provides adequate friction so it works great for both optical and laser sensors. The anti-fray, narrow stitches edges make it 12% thinner than mouse pad with normal stitches edges, while a non-slip rubber base firmly grips any surface so it won't budge even during frantic battles. This extended gaming mouse pad offers additional space for your keyboard, mouse, and other gaming gear, making it an ideal staging area before you go into battle. The new ROG Delta S gaming headset is now lighter than ever. It weighs just 300 grams, and making it 20% lighter than the previous generation. Its new headband is now made of stainless steel, and is narrower and more durable and a thicker form for a more comfortable fit. Delta S also features the new Soundwave light mode with effects that echo to your voice. The ESS 9281 digital to analog converter features four DACs that devote processing power to a subset of audible frequencies from low, mids, highs to ultra highs. The four signals are then combined to produce clearer sound with an impressive 130 decibel SNR higher than any other gaming headset. And you'll enjoy crisp and detailed true-to-life audio so you can precisely pinpoint enemy locations or gunfire in the battlefield. Delta S is the first gaming headset to feature built-in master quality authenticated, which is an award-winning technology that retains every detail of the original recording. The MQA renderer lets you enjoy the incredible audio quality the codec offers like RG Theta 7.1, Strix Go, Strix Go 2.4. And Delta S is now the latest headset to feature the exclusive Asus AI noise cancelling technology. This technology minimizes over 50 million different types of background noise while preserving vocal harmonic to give you the crystal clear in-game voice communication. Wait, wait, it's quite noisy right now. Let me put on RG Delta S and try out the AI mic. This technology minimizes over 50 million different types of background noise while preserving vocal harmonic to give you the crystal clear in-game voice communication. That means your teammates or the person on the other line can hear you clearly without distracting background noise like the clacking of keys or environmental noise if you are outdoors. Delta S provides exceptional hi-fi grade audio thanks to its cutting edge ESS 9281 with quad-deck technology and Asus AI noise canceling microphone. It's comfortable with its ergonomic D-shaped RG hybrid ear cushions and overall weight of just 300 grams. Its impeccably clear audio gives you the winning edge. And next, we will introduce our new innovative router. Hi everyone, I'm Wilson. This year has been a tough year for everyone. However, the Wi-Fi technology has still continued to evolve. In the United States, the FCC recently released a new wireless spectrum for the Wi-Fi 6E. And today, ASUS is announcing the world's first 
Wi-Fi 6E router, the ROG Rapture GTXE 11000. Wi-Fi is now a must-have technology. We work at home, study at home, and play at home and all the connected devices working 24 and 7, each of the devices fighting for their own bandwidth in your home network. The 5 gigahertz band, which used to be clean, and today facing the same issue as the 2.4 gigahertz did before, is jammed. The Wi-Fi 6E takes the advantage of the latest available wireless spectrum in 6 gigahertz band, which provides three times more bandwidth than the current 5 gigahertz band and it also provides seven extra 160 megahertz channels to the current Wi-Fi 6 standards. And most importantly, it will be dedicated to the Wi-Fi 6E devices, which means your latest Wi-Fi 6E devices won't be slowed down by the latest devices. Our design goal for this router was to meet advanced user main needs, diversity and speed. Wi-Fi 6E delivers faster than gigabit wireless transmission speed, so why not to make the wire speed match this? Rapture GTXE 11000 features WAN aggregation, which enables WAN speed up to 2 gigabit per second. And with the 4x4 Wi-Fi 6 and the 2.5 gigabit per second LAN ports, both wired and wireless network can achieve speed of more than 1 gigabit per second, bringing the true multi-gigabit performance to life. We built this router for those who need to connect a large number of devices, transfer large 4K or 8K videos, and enjoy ultra-low latency while gaming. How did we achieve this? Every engineering detail was considered with these goals in mind. GTXE 11000 is powered by a quad-core 64-bit CPU with 1 gigabyte of RAM, so it can handle super busy traffic in Wi-Fi 6E networks. We minimize the distance between the motherboard connectors and the antennas to reduce power loss and increase Wi-Fi coverage. We also use the latest 6 GHz power amplifier to improve both the signal quality and the coverage. Another key factor that affects the performance is heat dissipation. So we add extra thermal solder points on the board and the precision cutout in component shielding to accommodate thermal paddings. There's also a large aluminum heat sink with increased surface area that improves the heat transfer. The router's case needs to be optimized to take full advantage of the optimized internal cooling system to deliver maximum cooling efficiency. There are special design vents on the top, bottom, and the side of the router. The top and side vents align perfectly with the heat sink and paired with a large fan at the bottom, it creates efficient vertical convection for significantly increased cooling airflow. Using continuous testing to optimize the antenna placement, we selected a solution that improves the Wi-Fi performance up to 25% compared to the alternatives. To maximize the performance, we have ensured there is a good isolation between each of the eight antennas to reduce interference between them and especially for the four 6 GHz antennas. This new antenna design ensures optimal signal strength in every direction, which is important when there is a wide variety of connected devices located around the house, including 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz, and the most important 6 GHz devices. We also select from a range of different materials to see how that works with the RGB lighting in order to give the router a futuristic look. ROG Rapture GTXE 11000 is a router that is built to cope with a massive amount of network data. It's already desirable today for gaming and high-resolution live streaming. But in the near future, when you are streaming 8K videos in a house full of connected devices, Incredible Wi-Fi speed and the network capacity is going to be even more essential. That is exactly what ROG Rapture GTXE 11000 is built for. The new products and features we've unveiled today add a lot of diversity to the ROG Meta. There are now new options that enable high-end gaming experiences in every gaming segment. By refining features, listening to the community, and investing in research and development, 
we have systematically improved the gaming experience for everyone who invests in the ROG ecosystem. It's been our pleasure to deliver these new products and features to you today. We hope they will bring you lots of joy. Please stay safe and keep gaming.